Mateo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering will be receiving nearly $6 billion worth of credit on the condition that bondholders and other landers agree to take a stake in the company in exchange. Kim Yo-sun zooms in on how the ailing giant is getting another bailout from state-run banks, contrary to the government's initial promise. The troubled Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering will receive a new bailout package worth 6.7 trillion Korean won, or nearly 6 billion U.S. dollars. The shipbuilder's largest shareholder and creditor, Korea Development Bank, announced Thursday the second large-scale rescue package for the company, which has been suffering from serious liquidity problems. Most of Daewoo's bonds are maturing next month, and the government says the company will go bankrupt without help. But it will be provided only if all stakeholders agree to swap debt for equity. In other words, the shipyard will get new loans of 2.9 trillion won, or about 2.6 billion dollars, if lenders and bondholders agree to exchange this for new shares in the company. The rescue package also includes loans of some 800 million dollars, with an extended maturity of three to five years. The rest of the bailout will come in the form of bonds from various lenders, both state-run and commercial. The government's last bailout for Daewoo came in October of 2015. The shipbuilders' financial conditions have deteriorated rapidly since then, due mainly to losses from delays and difficulties in building complex offshore facilities. Kim Yo-sun, Arirang News.